All right, guys, welcome to the channel. We're back with another Bison Gear accessories installation. This time we're doing the rear window Molly panels for the Lexus GX470 or Toyota Prado 120. Uh, this is everything it comes with. We've got the Molly panel itself, a bag of hardware, two small brackets, and one larger bracket. I've already done one side, so hopefully I can give you some tips and installation instructions. The tools you'll need for this are a 10 millimeter wrench and socket, a drill with a 332nds drill bit, Phillips head screwdriver, a four millimeter hex head, and a some sort of trim tool. And we will get started with installation now. All right, the first step of the installation is going to be uh, getting this handle off. Uh, first part of that is just using a trim tool to pop off little clips and then using a 10 millimeter socket to take off these two bolts we're not going to reuse those bolts the kit comes with new bolts so we'll get that done and then you can move on to the next step all right once you get the uh, factory grab handle taken off my next recommendation is to mount all of these brackets the top and bottom ones before you take it to the, to the vehicle to mount so the order this goes in is this notch is for your rear window opener. So I'm installing this on the driver's side. This is gonna go towards the rear. These two brackets, um, just pick two slots to put them in. I think I'm doing these two slots. And then the brackets will go on the back side. So like this, um, with bolt, bolt and washer going through washer and nut on the back side. So that's how the bottom ones go on. The top one, you put the, put in this orientation. This side is gonna be the back. This is the front of the vehicle. And then these will go in the vehicle's holes where you pulled out the factory grab handles. And then these slots are for mounting to the Molly panel. Again, same thing, but on the back side of the Molly panel, bolt and washer on the front side, nut and washer on the back side, and get those all fairly snugged up here before taking it to the vehicle to mount it all up. So that's what I'm gonna do now. We'll show you how to get it mounted in the vehicle in a second. All right, step three is going to be getting the whole assembly up here and using two of the bolts and washers that came with the kit to get these uh, brackets mounted up. It should hold up there pretty well without that. And then after that, we'll drill a couple holes for these in the side of the car here to screw straight into this body panel right here. But we'll get that done and keep on going with the installation. All right, once you get these two bolts on, uh, you kind of need to play with the um, spacing on here before you tighten everything down to make sure your handle here still clears like you want it to but once you get everything lined up that this is still clearing go ahead and tighten down all four of these bolts on these ones you kind of have to reach behind with a box wrench or something to get the get to the nut on the back side but get these tightened down now we're going to hold this up against here drill two small pilot holes for self-tapping screws and mount that bottom piece to the body panel. All right, and just like that, we're done. That last step is pretty straightforward. A couple small pilot holes here, and then just put your self-tapping screws in. This is uh, pretty easy to drill through, um, so don't need to go crazy with it. But yeah, pretty sturdy. Um, definitely perfect spot for a med kit or other camping gear just to get it up off the floor. In the next video, we're gonna be installing the uh, ceiling shelf that ties right into this. Um, it's gonna be pretty simple, I think. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more GX content.